I, you know, I, I really needed to, to take this time and to get my body and my mind right. You know, a lot has gone on in the past few years and it's, you know, me constantly having to work on myself and constantly having to assess and, um, you know, make adjustments. And I've made all the adjustments, you know, everything that I can think of to do to be my best self and to come out and be successful, I've done, you know, and a lot of that has meant, you know, running experiments and trying this and trying that and um, doing everything I can to constantly put, be putting effort into to me and my son and my circumstances in order to be the best me that I can so I can go out there and perform to the level that I'm capable of. And, um, you know, I really feel like I've, I've done it. I feel like uh, everything is as good as possible and I'm excited and I'm hungry and I've been looking for those feelings and those motivations to get back in there for this while and it's, uh, it's here and it's time and, and I'm ready to go in and cash in on this fight. Uh, I wouldn't say I lost motivation. I would say, you know, I got, I got handed uh, new things to work on, you know, but um, with that I also got to throw away some of the things that weren't serving me at the time. So I, um, you know, I, I took it as a learning experience. You know, I, I wasn't too hard on myself. I saw a lot of things in the fight that I was excited about. Um, I, I also saw that I beat myself in that fight. You know, there were some things that I needed to work on that I kind of shoved off to the side and, and neglected putting time and effort into. And um, now I have, you know, it's been a year and a half of constantly trying to hack my own growth and, um, you know, look at the things that are, are right in front of me, look at the things that are buried kind of deep and, and get into them, you know, and, and put that time and effort into, into healing myself in a lot of different ways so I can be the best athlete that I can. These goals and this passion is, is something I've been chasing my whole life. You know, I started as a 12-year-old little girl, you know, in combative sports, knowing that I'm meant to be one of the greatest in the world, and, and here I am this level at this time in my life and, and I'm pumped to be here and I know I've done everything that I can. I, there's, there's no stone left unturned right now um, and I'm excited, I'm ready. Me and my son, uh, we moved from Colorado. Colorado was, um, is tricky, you know, it's my home, it's where I was raised, uh, it's where he was born and uh, beautiful, wonderful place. And I love the people that I have there. I love the team that I have there. My family is there, all of that. But um, it was getting complicated to be there and I felt like we needed a fresh start. I felt like I, you know, wanted to change the scenery and move from the mountains to the water and, um, you know, have a lot more sun and be able to wear flip-flops more freely. And um, it was a great change. Both of us have made uh, immense progress since we've gotten here um, socially, uh, relationship-wise, um, training-wise, and it's it's been a really good decision, and I'm glad that we we did it. UFC 200 was the the catalyst for me making the change for us to move. Um, I came out to San Diego for that training camp. Never had left Colorado for a training camp, and knew that I needed to. So even though um, I didn't get my hand raised that night, one thing that I did walk away with was some direction and knowing that I really liked this team and these coaches in this area and I felt motivated and excited and, and the newness of the situation was better than the staleness and the most stagnant parts of the last situation. So, um, you know, I always say that, like, obviously you, you make about half the money that you would have made when you lose than if you win. And if someone would have told me a year, two years ago, that if I paid what I lost in money in that fight to them and they would have handed me a piece of paper with that direction, I would have taken it. You know, so if losing a fight is all it takes for me to get the message, for me to get the purpose, like I need to make this change, I need to do these things to improve my situation, like I'll take it. I. It could have been worse, you know, all it is is a loss. I'm still here, I'm still learning, I'm still growing, I'm getting better every day, and sometimes you gotta lose in order to win. It was 
terrifying. <laughs> it was terrifying. I, I, you know, it's just me and my son, and, and we have a dog, and uh, that was hard to pack up. You know, I, I took what we could fit, put it in a U-Haul. I put our car on the back of that U-Haul, and just between me, my son, and our dog, we drove that rig across the Rocky Mountains by ourselves all the way here to San Diego. And I mean, it was it was scary. It was a lot of desert. It was places where there, you know, wasn't reception, and um, and I didn't have help. You know, I, I found a way to make it work on my own, and and showing myself that I could do that, and showing my son that we could do that, was was 100% worth it. You know, getting here scared, not knowing people, but also knowing that like putting in this work and and you know facing these boundaries that are uncomfortable and and you know, staying present even though we were both, you know, fearful of what all of the changes meant, like, sticking through that has shown us a lot about ourselves and, like, I, I love seeing what I'm made of, you know, it was very uncomfortable, but um, I'm happy and I'm settled and I see him content and that, to me, was worth all of the uncomfortable parts. <laughs> I 100% think I'm the best 135 pound girl in the world. I, I always have, you know, I never lost that. And I do realize that there's circumstances that go into proving it. The point is proving it is what matters, you know? And um, I, I mean, there's, there's proof in the history of it. Right now you have the last two champions are girls that I beat very dominantly. The, the next title fight, is going to be between Amanda Nunes and Raquel Pennington, both girls that I stopped easily. And, uh, and now I'm being faced with one of the biggest up and comers, and I'm extremely confident in that too. You know, I've, I've, I've put my hands on all these girls. I know what they're all made of. I know they know what I'm made of, and I know they know the difference. And it's, um, you know, it's just about a matter of time. It's about, you know, again, getting through all of these things and, and, uh, hitting the marks that I need to hit and the process is, is happening the way it's happening. And, you know, like, again, if I have to lose a couple of times along the way, like, that's going to make it that much more great. You know, the fact that there's doubt, the fact that I get fearful, the fact that I have to see what it's like on the bottom to appreciate what it's like to be on the top. Like, I, I'm okay with all of that. There's a million times in life that that's been a million times worse. So I'm here just putting in the work and improving and, and looking forward to fixing the things that I can fix. Yes. Okay, so this is my book. Um, it's Kaz and Gano is trained, by, trained Like a Fighter. Um, so I, I have a lot of things that go into me fighting. You know, one, it's, it's a physical outlet for me. It's super important for me to, like, move my body in that way on an expressive level and also just the, the physiology of it, the endorphins and everything. But um, uh, I've been doing combative sports and things like this my whole life because they are very good for me and they're very good for my spirit. And um, so I decided to come up with something basically where I write it down. Everything that I've seen work, that I've made work, that I will make work and um, it, it's compiled from people that I really trust and care about uh, as far as my nutritionists and what's worked for me because of what we've done together um, between strength and conditioning coaches and what we've done and what they've put me through that I also see work, um, how to make my body weight do what I want it to do, how to make it take my fitness levels to the crazy levels that they're at, my endurance and all that so it's you know essentially putting everything down that I've seen work that people have done with me to make it work and all of that and and putting it in a, a plan and a structure that I can hand to people so they can also use it and be successful and I'm just uh, I'm really excited to share the knowledge you know I don't think that people see it from a woman's perspective as often let alone the fact that I'm not just a woman making this work I'm a woman making this work with and against men so it's something that uh, um, it's it's it's, it's proofs in the pudding, you know, and everyone around me always asks me what it is, what do I do, 
what's the secrets, like what's the plan, and, and so I just put it together, you know, and it's something that I use as a coach, it's something that I use as an athlete, it's something that I use as a friend, you know, and so it's um, exciting for me to share the information and import and export ideas that I've had and that I've learned over the past uh, 20 years of, of my career in these kinds of sports and dealing with the physiology and the body that I get from being in this nature of uh, athleticism. It's uh, officially getting released on March 27th. Oh, and that's it? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> so when is your next fight? So I fought... <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cool. <laughs> oh my god. I love this day. I love this day. It might be one of my favorites. Okay. <laughs> so...